Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess! I'm Zelda Master 2010, and here we are in Hyrule Field. Basically, the spirit Lanayru teleported us at the nick of time from Zant's clutches, and here we are in Hyrule Field, gonna head to Princess Zelda, basically in the castle, but, um, yeah, we're basically in big trouble because we are locked up in our beast form, and, well, Midna is injured quite badly. Um, so the music that's playing right now is actually Midna's Lament. Um, it's basically for Midna's Desperate Hour, which is my favorite theme of the game. And this is what I really love about the game. I'll get more into it in a second. Um, basically, so what you want to do right now is head over to Hyrule Castle back there. And um, yeah, we're going to see what happens, you know, what will, you know, lead us to the trails of, you know, Princess Zelda, because that's what we have to do. Because, yeah, we're, we got pretty much screwed by Zant um, after collecting all the pieces of the few shadows and 
you know, everybody's happy, suddenly Zant comes out of nowhere and takes it all from us and attempts to kill Midna and gives us this curse, you know, that shard that went inside our head. Yeah, right now we're trapped as, you know, our beast form here we are in the light world and we're still trapped in it. Um, so, yeah, you're just gonna make sure you head to, um, Castle Town and then you'll find your way through to, um, basically Hyrule Castle. So, what I really love about this is just how you're put in a super vulnerable position. You are in big trouble right now. Um, the only thing that you can rely on is Princess Zelda. Not even Midna can help you out. You need to help Midna. That's why you're heading to her. And everything is just, you know, out of control. It's haywire. And it's really nice. I mean, it's a huge twist to the story. And you don't normally get that in any game, actually, which... I really love about this, and this is what it, like this is one of the me reasons this is my favorite game. This is basically the pinnacle of of the game. This is why I love the game so much. And not only that, actually, what happens next um, is just as as epic, basically. And I don't like using that word. I'm sure nobody does, but seriously, this is this is one of those times. Um, so I did the South Road of Castle Town. And you're gonna want to head to Talmos Bar. We've been here before. That's when we first spotted Ilya. And yeah, remember you're a beast. So they're not gonna let you in, but it will activate something. So we have no help from anybody right now. I know Talma did ask us for help and things, but we're a beast, guys. We, we can't do anything about it. So you there? Who is this? Well, we've seen a glimpse of her once before. Yes, this is Talma's cat. Luis, and basically she's gonna help you out. Now she knows your link. Now reason why? That's the reason why, believe it or not. She can smell your scent and she just knows it's you, which is kind of funny, but um, I guess, yeah, I, if I didn't know who you were, um, I just need to smell you and I'd be 100% sure I trust you, but I mean, how would you not know by appearance? Then again, we were wolf link, so she didn't need to rely on her senses, I guess. But, whatever. Anyways, so Midna asks for Zelda, because she really needs her, obviously. They need help. And she's willing to help out, luckily, because she isn't stupid. You know, animals aren't dumb guys. And this way, she says, hmm, we're gonna head through in that window into Telma's bar, and there's another window that will take you to, basically, the... Castle Town's waterway, and we're gonna use that to, you know, help us. So this under Castle Waterway thing, and it's gonna look familiar. Trust me. So what you wanna do is go ahead and push this crate over here, and you push it close enough to where you can leap onto the um, other crates that are on top of you like that, and then jump straight in the window. And don't worry, you are in high enough altitude to where they're not gonna see you because, yeah, the bars down there up here is basically the ceiling thing and they have tight ropes luckily so we're gonna use these tight ropes to our advantage and have them um, basically yeah balance us and take us to the other side to that window that will take us to the underground waterway now if you do push off a pot I'm not gonna do it but if you do um they do notice it and you can also listen to conversations here let me listen to listen to this one and this is an organi organization of people keep that in mind because they are gonna be helpful later on in the game but yeah, so Telma in the bar, she has like an organization of, of three people, and they actually are talking about us, which is kind of neat, you know, we came and watched, we're, we're really that famous. Then again, it's, it's one man who who's really helping out Hyrule, I'm sure he would be famous, especially when the town's so small, I mean, there's not that many people, population isn't that big in Hyrule, at least in the part that we're in, or the part that we're allowed to play in. So here's a Poe, and you want to go ahead and grab the Poe soul from it. Yes, each Poe has a Poe soul. You want to use your senses to grab it. We've seen these lanterns before, but we didn't have our senses because we weren't Beast Form when we did see them. So now we did see them, and now we know how they look, and they only appear at night and or inside places. So here is a guy, his name is Giovanni, and basically he's cursed, and he needs puzzles. So keep that in mind because we're gonna be helping out Giovanni, we're gonna be collecting puzzles, yada yada. A lot of things about puzzle is actually gonna open up a huge um, gate of side quests and episodes that will be dedicated to it. And I'm not gonna get into detail with it right now because we're actually gonna get into that later on in the next couple episodes. So if you keep that in mind, you know, there's a guy he needs help. There are 60 postals in the game. Whatever. Since we did grab that one postal that you had to grab, um, he does open up this chest. 
And yeah, it's not filled with money or anything. It actually takes you underground into the waterway, you know, the underground castle waterway, believe it or not. Kind of weird to have the chance to be the gate to it, but, you know, I'm not really going to question it. We're just going to head down. I mean, the guy's made out of gold. He has money all around him. He's rich. Um, so, yeah, I, I guess he got two green or something. You know, this is a huge story to it, backstory. Um, I'll be sure to get into detail later on. So, anyways, take out these rats if you want to. I really like this area, like this sewer area. It's really dark and mysterious and... You know, different than what you normally see. Now, this does look somewhat familiar to where we were in that sewer area in the beginning of the game. And um, I'm not going to go any further, but I think this looks better. Um, it still links up to it, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, so, anyways, here are some skull pillows. You want to take it out because we don't need them blocking the way or anything. And uh, basically, you can easily take them out by, you know, jumping and biting them in whatever way until they're about to attack you. We've done this before with Link. You should never with Wolf Link because, yeah, we never really saw them in the, you know, Twilight world. Um, this is our first time actually being in the real world. Not our first time being Wolf Link in the real world, but actually doing something mysterious and things. So, yeah. Um, you want to use the stick to actually light. These torches are in the way, and there'll be like a checkpoint to relight another torch. And, um, basically once they go off, you just want to relight them. If they are lit, you can't really reset the timer for the, um, torch. So as you see, yeah, the other one went off, even though we just passed it through the fire. Because it doesn't work. So, like, see? They're all lit, right? But they were lit for at least three seconds ago. So, they won't make it to that. Yeah, you basically want to light that, um, web. So, there we go. Now that we lit this and the timer has reset because it was off, it wasn't lit. It's kind of complicated how they did that. I don't know why. Why can't you just run it through fire and it resets the time? It's whatever. But now you get what I mean. And you don't really need to do that anymore. So if, you should, if that was complicated to you, of like, why do I have to wait until it turns off so I can reset the timer? Um, well, you don't have to worry about it anymore because that was it. Go ahead and take out these enemies that are ruining the music for me. Um, even though I can't even hear it because I usually mute my television when I when I come to record. But, um, you get what I mean. So anyways, here's a hole. It's like a dead end. Hmm. Let's go ahead and use our wolf senses. Oh no, my wolf senses are tingling. There is this sparkly thing. I better dig inside it and see what it takes us. Now it does not give us treasure, but it does. Give us a secret passage. Huh, this, this, this looks rather familiar. This looks really familiar, actually. Wait a second. Spiral stairs that are broken. Nasty sewage waterway. Oh no, yes, yeah, you can see the sewer place here. We were here before and this is actually not a bad thing. Why am I saying oh no? This was actually um, the first time we went to Princess Zelda where we went Midna for the very first time and Midna used her Midna jumps and other skills to give us, you know, acrobatic powers. We still can do this. Yeah, we can, we can tight rope. You know, we're really good at that even without Midna. <laughs> but yeah, um, right now they installed tight ropes, I guess, so we can we can use them. Not sure why suddenly they have them, but luckily they do, I guess, just to fit. I mean, maybe they knew you were going to come here one day and Midna was going to be injured and you're going to need to head to Princess Zelda, so they put him in and then they're going to try to attack you. Luckily, um, when you are heading towards a boblin, um, a boblin, a uh, boblin, god, I'm, I don't know, I'm stuttering trying to say its name, but... When you are heading towards any enemy, actually, um, on a tightrope like this one, he's gonna delay his attack. See, even if you stand, by the time he notices you, he's not. He's gonna hit you by the time you leave. So don't worry about that. Don't like stand there, like oh god, he can hit me. Even this one, see, he's really close to a tightrope, but just keep going. He's gonna hit. Yep, still miss. Um, I noticed that, but if they are behind you, they're gonna hit you. If there are archers like that, they will hit you and they'll knock you off of those tight ropes. And um. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty much a problem, you could say. So, anyways, take out these bubblins and things, and yeah, these are archer ones, so we're gonna want to take them out as soon as possible because they are extremely annoying, and they take like two hits or something. I guess yeah. Wish we could bite them right now while they're on the flag. Finishing the blow for Wolf Link. We only can do that with Pose Souls, which sucks. I don't understand why you can't do that. I guess because he does tear out their soul for Pose Souls. What are they gonna tear out for like? 
Are you picking up? You have a bubbling heart. Ew, that that's messed up. Then again, you do pick up hearts off of the floor and, and replenish your own. So, anyways, the current is really strong. If you didn't know it is, um, and these bridges are being pushed really well by the wind to where you can actually stand on it. And here's our, I think, our first 50 rupees in the game. I'm not really sure. But if you had 50, I mean the purple rupee, the collective one. I'm sure we have we gotten tons and tons over 50. Actually, no, I totally forgot that um, um, Princess Agatha gives you orange and purple. So my bad. We we've actually gotten. I guess our first one, you know, without being given to, we actually found it, and it was in crates, which is kind of odd. Usually, should be in a chest, but that was like a secret area where you wouldn't normally think. And Minna was supposed to give you the hint back there, where you were supposed to do the mid jump, saying. Where she can't help you or anything, so you're gonna have to like figure out a way on your own, and you can use the, you know, really strong current of wind to push the bridge and head up and stuff and things. So now you get what I'm talking about. Here he is, the snares to Princess Zelda. He's gonna head inside and see what away, see what she can help us out with. See what is the destiny of destinies. Thank you. 